It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. Hey, welcome back to the Line Makers. We got a big NBA game on tap. Rick Heron's going to tell you all about these two teams. Memphis is at LA visiting the Lakers. Playoff implications abound. Memphis right now tied for the four spot for, for home field advantage in the playoffs. The Lakers are really tied for the last spot in the playoffs. Ricky, what's going to happen? Well, Kenny, we're looking at the Lakers being about a one point favorite here. I think he said 188 or something like that. Uh, Lakers are tied with the Jazz, but the Jazz hold the tiebreakers over the Lakers if they finish tied for the season. Um, the last seven games for the Lakers are absolutely brutal. I mean, they do get the Hornets, but they also get Memphis this game Friday night at the Clippers, at Portland, Golden State, San Antonio, and Houston. Now, I didn't look at the Jazz schedule, but the Lakers haven't fared real well against the best teams in the West all year long. So they're going to have to make a big push here if they're going to want to make the playoffs as far as I'm concerned. The line, by the way, at William Hill, pick them basically, minus $1.15 uh, that the Lakers will make the playoffs, minus a nickel that they won't. Now this game will have a lot to tell whether they're going to. They are a pick to make the playoffs. They're tied for the eighth spot. I, I think a big question is Steve Nash and his availability. Now they did beat Dallas without him. But they're going to need Steve Nash because Mike Conley's playing some great basketball right now for Memphis. Can Nash even stay in front of Mike Conley anyway? I, I, I don't know. My, I know Steve Nash said he expects to play in this game on Friday night. This is a deep and physical Memphis team. We kind of thought earlier in the year when they traded Rudy Gay they were going to fall off. They haven't. They're, they they got uh, eight guys that play over 20 minutes a game. They have nine guys that score over six a game. They already beat the Lakers twice and covered both times, but both of those were in Memphis. But looking at the Lakers' record against the best teams in the West, if I'm getting a point with Memphis, I got to be looking at the Grizzlies in this one, Kenny. Oh, I agree with you. I, I think Memphis is at a better year. Lionel Hollins, eh, a Las Vegas local, grew up here, went to Rancho High School, uh, won an NBA title with the Trailblazers. He knows how to win, and he's really – I think brought great continuity to this team. I love Zach Randolph in the middle. Uh, Dwight Howard, has he paid off or not with the Lakers bringing him he's in? He's stepping it up a little bit, and uh, he, he's played better recently. It's just, you know, my question is, are, are they going to make a push now, or are they just not good enough, Kenny, with all – and with the injuries and no meta world peace, and I, I'm, I'm not – he's not a favorite of mine, but it was another piece of the rotation that's, that's gone. Nash is banged up. Kobe's banged up. Are they good enough? And now they've waited this long in the video, and I know we said you like to say, but let's make sure we tell them for sure. Lakers are 1-188. and That's what I think the line's going to be. Unless Nash doesn't play, Memphis will be the favorite. Memphis will be 1.5, maybe 2. Let's say Nash is playing, the Lakers are 1. Who's Rick Heron have? Memphis. Memphis plus the 1. You heard it here in the Line Makers. Stay tuned for more great action here in the Line Makers.